This one works in financial district. She can get tips, give you leg up in market. What is Fadji Gonzalez? Uh, imagine a vanilla Gonzalez, but from the other side. <laughs> I'm about to make a decision, but there's still time for you to sneak under the wire. My favorite Woody Allen movie is Melinda and Melinda. Our patient is not a junkie, but he does have a girlfriend. I call her my girlfriend because people understand that. If I explained it, they'd just think I was a weirdo. We're not here to judge anyone's fetish. I'm not a pervert. It's not like I'm more attracted to dolls than humans. So you don't have sex with her? It's not just about that. Does the doll talk to you? I know she's not a real person. In a lot of ways, she's better than a person. I can tell her things and she won't argue with me or make fun of me. I come home every night and I know she'll be there waiting. So is your toaster. No one in the world has an emotional attachment to a toaster, but a lot of people are willing to spend $7,000 on women like Amy. Have you ever tried an actual? Yeah, I'm 35. I've been in relationships. None of them fulfilled me. And one day I saw this website and... Maybe the perfect woman's out there somewhere, but it's not worth going through what it would take to find her. Amy makes me happy. I'm sweating. It's sort of hot in here. Not that hot. Bleeding plus two new symptoms, fever and neurological. I'm not sure about that last one. I think he's just weird. He wasn't hallucinating. He didn't have a thought disorder. You don't think it's his order to talk to? It's not all that different from talking to your cat or a teddy bear. You don't have sex with your cat or a teddy bear. If you did, you'd probably talk to them more. The guy loves an imaginary being who's never gonna respond to him. He's no crazier than millions of churchgoers. You think anything off about any patient is a symptom. This guy buys flowers, real flowers, for a piece of plastic in a dress. You know what's really crazy? Living with a human being, someone with opinions and feelings, he gets mad just because you want to take salsa classes with him one night a week. One night? He's just running away. He hangs out with a doll. He never needs to fear rejection. It's sad. You do understand the irony here. Every person in this room has a sex doll. At least the patient has the stones to be honest about it. Ooh, a metaphor. What you didn't foresee is that I actually do have a sex doll. Your doll is your kids. Yours is your parents. Yours is your charity. All excuses for not being in a relationship. He's not wrong. You! I have meaningless sex with random strangers. Thanks for the insight. But I stopped that months ago. I actually had a relationship. With a patient? You just date whoever happens to cross your path. My dating is getting in the way of my dating? You don't go looking for the right person. You just shack up with whoever's in the room and then you get surprised and or divorced when it doesn't work out. I'm surprised you haven't asked Adams out yet. <clears throat> uh, for your information, I've got a date tonight. I'll be jamming with a cute guy in his band. You'll bail. He's right. The obvious solution is for me to hand my kids over to your parents. Can we stop trying to argue the premise and move on to figuring out why it is that you're all social morons? You do understand the irony here. You're mocking us for avoiding relationships, but you can't handle losing your doll. You're spending all this time and energy interviewing for a new one. You're right. That is stupid. What about the patient? Dude's banging a sex doll, festering cesspool of bodily fluids and associated bacteria. Swab her out and find out which one. I feel like the stirrups are overkill. I've never done a pelvic on a doll before. I'm unfamiliar with the protocol. I'm pretty skewed out right now, I'm not gonna lie. What house said back there? Your know, house says a lot of things. I don't just date whoever shows up. I mean, I did meet women in the hospital, but they weren't just flings. Basically, you're explaining why you're not gonna ask me out. That's not what I was... Did you want me to ask you out? Yeah. I told Park to tell Taub to tell House to pass you that note. It's completely clean in there. He said he just bathed her. 
Adams. There's a swelling beneath the skin. Three-inch mass. Is that part of the dull skeleton? Feels like a tumor. CT showed an air-filled mass in the doll's abdomen. It's probably just a chemical reaction. Henry left her too close to a heating pipe or something. This guy brushes her hair every morning, brings home movies for them to watch together. You think he tosses her in a broom closet at the end of each day? More likely than it getting stomach cancer. How about Clostridium? Bacteria got trapped in an airtight cavity, produced gas. It doesn't explain the neurological issue. We can explain that the same way we explain the tooth fairy. Oh. I get to play Solomon. Cut the doll open. We can't just destroy the patient's property. That thing costs seven grand. Exactly. Ask him for consent. If he says yes, then we get to go hunting bacteria. If he says no, there's no need because he's crazy and we need a different theory. See ya. I gotta go build a temple. Okay. You're sure? It won't be able to heal when we're done. But you think she could tell you what's wrong with me? Yes. Okay. Should we take it to the procedure room? It's not a her, which means we can do this anywhere. Adams. You can know something's not real and still love it. I think the procedure room might be better for this. You are a... You ask me if there'll come a time when I grow tired of you Never my love Never my love How can you think love will end When I've asked you to spend your whole life Amy! How'd it go? We're growing cultures now, but she looked clean and there was no telltale smell. I'm guessing the lump was just an air bubble that got trapped in the mold. You bandaged her up. I threw in some stitches, too. Just wanted to make her look her best. Do you want me to put her in her chair? Henry. 